Hi guys, today I want to speak a little bit about generosity and growing a sense of kindness and compassion in our little ones, which of course, like everything, starts with us. So we might complain that children are selfish, they always only want their own way, they want to hold on to things, but I always check where is this message coming from? Where have they learned this whole strong concept of ownership and mine, mine, mine? And yes, of course, our society, our media, uh, school systems, we have this individual individuality very strongly ingrained. A lot of that is not necessarily negative. It just means that as parents, we have this role then to go even further and deeper in growing compassion and kindness, which I believe are natural traits. So how do we grow compassion and kindness in our children? Well, it starts with you being kind, and that is also with yourself. And it also starts with words. So using kind words, role modeling, saying thank you, and asking, please. These are things that you can do um, not only with other adults in your life, so in other words, saying thank you and please around when your children are around, but also to them. Uh, little comments like, thank you for listening, or please won't you take your shoes and move them to the, to the bedroom. These are gestures of kindness in terms of kind words, and obviously our tone makes it that much more um, hearable and palatable to, to the little sensitive ones. So using kind words is one way to grow compassion and kindness. And then also trying to get a sense, build the child, your child's sense of empathy by speaking in a feelings language, by saying how you feel when things happen, good and bad, and by letting them express their feelings. And just by beginning with this feelings language, beginning a new way of speaking in your home with feelings, already... When a child knows their feelings, then they can, and they're hearing about the feelings of others, it's a lot easier for them to then put their, be able to put themselves in the other person's shoes. So what is empathy? It is putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. Not sympathy, which is kind of trying to feel sorry or feeling sorry for someone, and also not apathy, avoiding that person and walking away. I think we have a lot of that in our society. So let's work this week with kindness, compassion, and empathy, speaking kind words, saying please and thank you, allowing and asking for children to say those same things, and then also using our feelings language so that our children can learn all about feelings naturally and that speaking about feelings becomes a natural, healthy norm. If you like these tips, please do comment, like, and share. And of course, there's tons more in our, my Parent Magic Raising Kids Positively book, which is available at our website, raisingkidspositively.com, as well as on the Amazon ebook version. Have a beautiful week.